Hello and welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today we're going to do some bookmarks. Now these are brilliant sellers. They're great to be using up a little bit of resin as well. So it's well worth having a go and doing these. They also make perfect gifts and they're really easy and simple to make. I'm going to be using some temporary tattoos and also some sequins in mine. I'm going to be using the Times 3 UV Protection J Diction resin here and it's really important to have a good quality resin when you're making stuff that you want to sell. Now I'm not going to talk too much about what I'm actually doing because you can see what I'm doing on the screen but what I'm going to be talking about is why these are best sellers. And the reason they're best sellers is because actually they are quite cheap to make and you can sell them at a good low price. So you could have lots of them on your stall or on your website that are easy for people just to pick up really pay a few dollars for and then give you give them away as presents or keep them and use them themselves the other great thing about these are that you if you're out at a market or you're on a stall at a craft fair and you've got a cricket joy or or something similar that a lot of people take to these craft fairs then you can personalize these for an extra fee so you could say well yet yeah, for an extra pound i can put someone's name on them or for an extra dollar i can put someone's name on them and that also allows these things to sell really well I would want to say a quick thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month. It really does help and keeps this channel going. So thank you very much. Your names are coming up now. The other great thing about that is you can offer that service if you have a website or if you sell on Etsy stores and things like that. You can offer a personalized service on these types of things. You can also make a lot of them with leftover resin. So it's resin that you perhaps weren't going to be using for anything else, different colors or even clear resin and have these molds to one side so you can just make them and build up a stock of them as well. They also make really great gifts for people. And that is another reason why people like to pick them up and buy them. Also, just a massive thank you to all my members. Your names are coming up now. Thank you so much. Glad you've enjoyed the competitions and things we've had running recently. It really has been good fun. I recently made 40 of these bookmarks for uh, someone who wanted to give them away at their kid's birthday party in, their, in the little bags that they give away. And it, all it said on them was, thank you from Bonnie. And that person was the per little girl that had the birthday party. And they went down a strip, you know, they absolutely were loved. And people were using them and it made Bonnie feel great as well. So again, it is another way of personalizing these up. And there are lots of ways that you can do that and sell these. They don't have to be expensive. And it's all about getting your name out there and getting people to understand as well that you're making good quality products. They're more likely to visit your stall again and your website if they're really happy with the product that they've received. So that is why I consider these to be best sellers. I do sell quite a lot of these and they are quite profitable as well. These ones are really simple ones to make and I've made sure that I've done a really good job of these. And what you'll see is how I finish them off. And there is lots of different ways that you can finish these off. So really just use your imagination. One of the things I always do is make sure I pop those surface bubbles before I do anything with them. And also I make sure that they're on a level surface when they're curing. These bookmarks are cured now. And all it needs me to do is to finish them off. I love how this one has come out. Let's take it out of the mould with a little bit of that mica powder. Just run through it using those micro sticks. And that was just a little bit of micro powder I had left over. And it's lovely and colourful. And because it's so colourful, I'm going to use one of these colourful feathers on it at the bottom here. And these are just temporary tattoos and they work really well with resin. I'm gonna cut out which one I want. Remember to take that film off it because I did forget that one time and then I couldn't get the tattoo off the film. I'm gonna turn it over, pop it there like that, wet the back, let that sit on there for a couple of minutes till it's completely soaked through. And you know when it is because it will start to move. You don't have to wet it with a spray bottle. You can wet it with just a sponge 
and dab it down, but I ain't got the time for that malarkey. So it's a spray bottle for me. This one, I'm going to put on these ones because I love these little cat tattoos. And the cat love one, I'm going to put at the top of the bookmark which is that bit there. Let's make sure I put it up the right way because I have been known not to do that, put it up the right way before. So that's the bit where it's going to go there. Then I'm going to have that coming underneath it. Let's take it out of its mold. I do like that mold because it's got little cuts there. Cut out some little cat paw. Again, taking off your backing tape. And this has got a slight adhesive feel to it as well. So it should stick on there. And I'm going to put a couple more going down it. And these tattoos stay on really well. And if you're concerned about that, just run a little layer of resin over it. And that will stay on there permanently. Because these work brilliantly with resin as you'll see in my video that I link at the end of this one. They work so well. It really does give your resin work an uplift. I'm going to wet those down while they're soaking through. This one should be ready now to take off. There we go. So that tattoo is on there. You can see that in there, but it will be a little bit transparent at the moment. And we'll let that dry. Then I'll finish off this one and I'll show you what they all look like when they're all nice and dry. And I like to finish off my bookmarks with one of these little leather tassels and they're really easy to fit. I just use a bit of this silk rat tail, thread it through here, put those together and then depending on how long you want it, I don't want it too long, then I put a knot in it like that, pull it nice and tight. I then cut the ends off this and to seal it, I just quickly give it a flash with the lighter like that. Um, put those together and then you've got a nice little bit that will go over the edge of the book And again, these are stuck on there really well. They take an awful lot of getting off I know that because where I've put them on in the wrong place I've tried to remove them and they won't come off but look how cute that little kitty one is you don't have to make them clear. You could make them a solid colour. Really, you can make them however you like. I do really like that one with the hint of that feather in there. And this is part of my best-selling series. These can be made, again, with leftover resins, bits and pieces. And they're easy to put together, easy to make, and easy to sell. And you don't have to sell them at an exorbitant amount of money. And you're still making good money on them for using leftover resin or even if you've mixed up resin for yourself to purposely make these with. Please boot that like button. It really does help my videos to get out there. It also helps me know what sort of things that you enjoy watching. If you want me to continue this best-selling series, then let me know in the comments. I've got quite a few more videos that I think would make really good contributions if you're looking to set up a small business and make some extra money, especially while the cost of living is so high. Links to everything that I've used can be found in the description below, including the link to the J-Diction resin that I used, and to the buy me a coffee link if you'd like to buy me a coffee. Take care, enjoy your resin. Meow, meow, meow. Bye.